Hello there, this is Agnes from Agnes Craft. Today we can talk about typography. Hope you would have come across my other videos on on edge quilling and fillers in quilling. If you haven't checked them yet, I will add their links at the end of this video. Before we go on to the topic, if you are new here then subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified with our new updates. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Let us first see the materials needed. Paper strips from cardstock. This is from 165 GSM paper and hand cut to 5 mm strips. Tweezer, embossing stylus, cutter, brush and glue. The letters can be printed for getting neat result. It is good to use common fonts like Times New Roman and Arial as they don't come under any copyright issues and are easily available. The aerial font has sharp ends and are easy for beginners. I use a foam sheet and place my working sheet over it. On the top I place the printed paper. This is aerial font and is 3.5 cm tall letters. I use an embossing stylus to write over it. The foam helps to get deeper impressions. You could also use an empty ball pen to write over the letters instead of a embossing stylus. This method of transferring image helps us by avoiding any pencil marks and keeps the final result neat. Here you can see the impressions well. I will also show you another method of transferring for a neat result. Cut the letters out individually. You could print the letters with mirroring so that you can turn over the letters and paste them. I again take the printed letter, place the quilling strip next to the letter and mark the length of the paper needed using pencil. Just a little mark is enough and then I cut them. For glue, I use a flat surface on which I apply a thin layer of glue. I damp the paper strip and tap off excess glue by placing the strip on a flat surface. Then I adhere them to the project. Now because the strip is going to meet three surfaces, damp glue on all the three sides of the paper strip. This gives neat finish to the letters. Also make sure that the tips meet sharply.
Remove any excess glue immediately. For the next letter, I will show you how to use a long single strip without cutting at each bends. Align the strip near the letter and bend at the corners. Make sure they align exactly. Glue them and add hair. The main fallback of this method is glue marks if we were not cautious while we move around with the strips. Try these two different methods and find your own best way. Now let us fill the letters. The simple method is to use beehive quilling. I check the size of the swirl that would fit the text and continue making beehives and later adhere them. You could apply glue directly to the base as beehives don't show much of the base or do in the other way that is you could apply glue to the beehives and then adhere them For curves in the letters, we have to tame the cardstock strips. Give even pressure using something cylindrical like a brush or even quilling tool and swipe along the strip with your thumb and index finger. Make a curve that is bigger than our required length of paper strip. This will give better handling and neat results. For places where two strips meet perpendicularly, take a little glue in a paper strip and slide them between the junction. Hope this info on typography helped you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. See you with another informative video. Till then, it's bye from Agnes.